earned their first home win on McClellan's debut last week, but their plan to keep the side which finished that match has been disrupted by a training injury to David Bardsley. So at number two, Lee Sinnott, who was dropped to make way for McClelland, returns at right back. Sheffield Wednesday are without their regular number two, the injured Mel Sterling, so Gavin Oliver continues there. At number seven, Brian Marwood returns at the expense of John Pearson, who's the substitute. And Sheffield Wednesday, always a well-supported club themselves, and many of their fans have made their way down from Yorkshire for this afternoon's game. Maurice Robinson from Sutton Coldfield is the man in charge. Well, this match has been billed, rightly or wrongly, as the battle of the long ball. Two teams whose arrival in the first division was stamped with a label demanding early delivery. Kenny Jackett at left back for Watford, who are in the yellow shirts. Sheffield Wednesday in their famous stripes, playing from the right. Terry. There's Sterling. At Smith marking Riley. Both taking a tumble. Smith did well. Berardi. Mark Smith again to Andy Blair. Marwood's out on the right wing. Oliver's overlapping outside him. There's Riley. Support here, both ways. Riley's shot. Oh, and a mistake, and Blissett nearly in. Well, we've had lots of rain. The ball may be slippery, but uh, Blissett almost cashing in on a mistake by goalkeeper Martin Hodge. Riley's drive was a sudden one, and Hodge couldn't hold it. Blissett off him for a goal kick. Ferrari. John McClelland warding him off. <laughs> Forward by Smith. This is Rostron. Oliver. Taylor getting in well. In it. Taylor on to Riley. And still George Riley. That was promising. A deflection. And it's an easy goal for John Barnes. John Barnes, the scorer. And George Riley very much involved. He made good space as Sheffield Wednesday momentarily thought about offside. The shot was deflected over the goalkeeper and John Barnes ran in after 12 minutes to add to his two for England in midweek the first goal for Watford today. Barnes' eighth goal of the season. That puts him one ahead of Luther Blissett in the Watford scoring charts. This is Verardi. Good control. Now it's uh, Shelton with the ball inside. Marwood. And a corner to Sheffield Wednesday. Riley helping out his Shelton a volleyed pass back to Andy Blair
And that was a mistake by Sinnott, and Varadi's in there. And hooked across for Riley again to make the saving header away from Gavin Oliver. Blissett. What a good ball by Blissett. And Barnes, look at the pace there. Fantastic pace by John Barnes. It took him clear of the entire defence. Sheer speed. Terrific pass by Blissett. Corner to Watford. Taken by Sterling. And Hodge taking it away from Riley. It goes alone. Oh, good save. Explosive shot aimed for the near post area from Blissett and Martin Hodge equal to it. And Riley's causing them problems and Barnes shoots over when he was well placed. Well, the way Watford have started this match, you'd never believe that they were in the bottom three in the first division. They're very much on top in the opening 20 minutes, and Riley is one reason why. Riley, Taylor. Watford have got six players forward here. This is Sterling. It opened up for Sterling. Good save again. Sterling has scored in his last three matches for Watford, deprived by Martin Hodge. John Barnes is there with Oliver. His clearance only finds Sinnott. And that's a very good idea. There were two Watford players free on the left. There might still be one, and it's Blissett. And they've got a queue of players here in the penalty area, Watford. And Blissett's cross deflected. Well played by Jacket. Foul there. Rostrum was clipped. No, uh, the play's been brought back. The uh, follow-up didn't matter. The linesman was flagging for an offside as Rostron himself was fouled anyway, so there were two reasons why play could have been stopped. Well, it's wrong to say that these two teams play the same way, despite all the pre-match uh, previews. John Barnes is a winger, and Sheffield Wednesday don't play with two wingers, and it was John Barnes whose goal put Watford in front after 12 minutes for a half-time lead, which on the balance of play, they deserve. <laughs> Watford have yet to keep a clean sheet in a league match this season, so they'll be striving for that in the second half. Sheffield Wednesday, by contrast, have only failed to score in two league matches. And they've come in the last three games. Those blanks. So, uh, a couple of records could be altered there. Here's Sterling. But, uh, Les Taylor with no real chance there. taken by Sinnott. Line of four Watford players waiting on the edge of the area. And uh, half away 
made by Oliver. Rostrum. Barnes. Good looking turn by John Barnes. A lovely chip. And just over. But that's the sort of individual spontaneous skill of which Barnes is capable and which has put him thankfully now it seems for a prolonged spell into the England team so capable of turning his man like that and then doing the unusual so we're ten minutes into the second half here the score is still 1-0 to Watford and Sheffield Wednesday have the free kick to be taken by Gavin Oliver Chapman is climbing on the far side claiming that he was fouled but the referee not interested here's Blair looking for Varadi he's got some pace John McClelland uncertain of his clearance Marwood was hovering and that's at the post and a lucky escape for Watford Marwood the unlucky player a really good effort by Marwood on the turn and it came back off the foot of the post and the rebound favoured Watford Barnes good effort again he's Tested Hodge there, they're appealing for a corner, but he just kept it in, actually. Martin Hodge. Oh, look at that piece of skill. Barnes has found Riley. Slice the clearing. Oh, and Sterling came in. And if you really analyse the goals that Watford score, if you want to analyse the goals scored in football generally, there's a position around that far post where so many go in. But back earlier in the move, John Barnes' piece of skill was worth coming to see in itself. When the move developed, the ball was whipped across to that far post position and Warrell Sterling could have had a goal. We made the point about the loyalty of the Watford support and there are 18,346 here today on a murky November afternoon. And Watford's relationship with the local community underlined by their attendances this season. Shirtliff. Good play by Blair. Shelton. Chapman. It's a throw in. And Jacket forced to concede. The corner. Shelton coming through for the shot, it's Smith who pushes it back in again, and Mark Smith wants more. And Watford are battling here, Terry, they can't get it away. Lofted back once more towards Verardi, and now Marwood. And Chapman's coming in, Tony Coton, half a punch on it, George Riley finally volleys clear. For the relief of the Watford fans, but for how long? Marwood. Diving in a bit there. And there's another header. Oh, and it's been fumbled by Coton, and Marwood's there again. And so close for Shelton, actually. Well, that was one of Sheffield Wednesday's nearest moments to a goal, and it was Gary Shelton whose header gave Coton the difficulty. Marwood trying to get onto the rebound. 
but the Watford goalkeeper would have been relieved there. Chapman, Shelton, Verardi. And still Verardi. Can he find a colleague? He can, and the save from Shelton by Houghton. And twice now, Verardi set the play up, but twice now, Shelton has come very close to equalising. Barnes. Onside, Luka Blissett. No, good goalkeeping, actually. It may look like a very bad miss, but Podge came off his line there, and I don't think Luther Blissett really had anything to shoot at at all, except the goalkeeper. He tried to steer it past him, and it uh, didn't look a good finish. On by Chapman. Up goes Lyons, away by Jacket. Chapman again. It's a Watford throw. The Watford supporters are whistling anxiously. And Riley needs to make that. Here's Chapman for Wednesday. And Worthington. Sterling. Hoisting it away. And this could be Sheffield Wednesday's last chance. It's going to be Blair with the corner. Not the best that he could have produced. And Watford may be on the way to rebuilding their season. It's their second successive home victory in consecutive weeks. It's the first time they've kept a clean sheet in a league match this season. And it's Sheffield Wednesday's fourth match without a win, three of which have been lost and in three of which they failed to score. So there could be trends in that, we should have to wait and see. But on the day, it was John Barnes who got the only goal, and he had moments in the match which made that well-deserved.